going on guys? It's Brian with Some Man's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. So before we get into the picks, this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time we are premiering a video which is an exclusive interview with Mad Cave Studios. That's right, myself, Andy Tomberlin, who writes the Indie Spotlight article for comicbookinvest.com. This is going to be his Indie Spotlight show. Jack DeMeo, aka Mr. Bolo, and Chris Sanchez from Mad Cave Studios. He is their social and communications manager, premiering live this Tuesday, April 16th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're watching after that, the video will be available on replay. So definitely check the channel for that video. With that being said, let's head over to the computer and give you my weekly picks. We kick this week off with Batman number 69. We come to the conclusion of Nightmares, where the Dark Knight is breaking through the bad dreams and coming out the other side. We have a regular cover by Yannick Paquette. We also have a regular price variant by Francesco Mattina. I'm picking up the Matina variant. Damage number 16. This is the last issue in the series. Captured by the Goddess of the Monsters, Ethan and Congo Bill must rely on their wits as humans rather than the strength as giant powerhouses in order to survive. But do these men stand a chance against the mother of all colossal beasts? We're gonna find out. I'm a sucker for homage covers, and this looks to be an homage to Spider-Man number 50. Plus, it's the final issue in the series, so I'm gonna pick this up. Justice League number 22. In this issue, the final form of Perpetua takes her shape, and the DCU's never going to be the same again. We have a regular cover by Francis Manipole. There's also a regular price variant by Lionel Francis Yu. Naomi number 4. In this issue, she discovers the secret behind her birth, her adoption, and her connection to the great multiverse. Combine that with the writing of Brian Michael Bendis, the teasing of DC Comics of the involvement of this character, Plus, FOMO running rampant among speculators in the comic book hobby has this book sold out at a lot of places online, so pick it up if you see it. Nightwing number 59. There's a new team in town who will have to learn the hard way that fighting injustice doesn't mean you're cut out to be a superhero. As the newly formed Nightwings are forced to deal with a fiery threat they never saw coming. We have a regular cover by Chris Mooneyham. There's also a regular price variant by Yasmin Putri. Teen Titans number 29. This brings us to part 3 of the Terminus Agenda. After the last mission nearly ended in disaster, Teen Titans are coming apart at the seams and Deathstroke's influence over Damien reaches new heights. We have a regular cover for this. There's also a regular price variant by Miko Swayan. Little Bird number 2. Little Bird's reunited with her mother in a dreamscape where she begins to uncover the twisted roots of her family tree. Free after 30 years of imprisonment, the Axe once again takes the mantle as a leader of the Resistance and prepares to wage war against Bishop and his Northern Guard. Middle West number 6. Now if you aren't a Scotty Young fan, if you start reading this comic, you'll definitely become one. In this issue, the end of a first story arc, a messenger arrives with news of the storm brewing in Abel and Fox's wake. Maggie's carnival has changed its schedule to stay ahead of the Tempest as Abel's debt is paid and he's offered the chance to choose his future. Avengers No Road Home number 10. This brings us to the finale of this epic Marvel story. Can anything stop Nyx from remaking the cosmos in her image? And will an Avenger die in the attempt? We have a regular cover by Yasmin Putri. There's also a regular price connecting variant by Matteo Scalera. Daredevil number 4. This has quickly become one of my favorite reads from Marvel right now. The creative team with... The creative team with writer is Chip Zdarsky, interior art by Michael Cicchetto, and the regular covers by Tedesco is the perfect combination for me. I'm obtained to pick this up. There is a regular Tedesco cover and a hidden gem incentive variant by John Romita Jr. Guardians of the Galaxy number four. The Dark Guardians are on a mission to kill Gamora, so it's time for the new Guardians of the Galaxy to saddle up. We have a regular cover by David Marquez. There's also a regular price as Guardian variant by Tom Rainey. Magnificent Miss Marvel number two. Steel reeling from a devastating loss, but with an alien invasion ravaging New Jersey City, she's not going to have much time to grieve. Even if Kamala saves her hometown, will her family ever be the same? And what's all this business about a chosen one? We have a regular cover, and there's a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Afu Chan. 
Major X number two. Love him or hate him, Major X number one definitely created a buzz in the comic book world. Issue number two comes out this week and a mysterious new player enters the Marvel Universe and the X-Men are in his crosshairs. We have a regular cover by Rob Liefeld. There's also an incentive variant by Phil Noto. Spider-Man life story number two. Can Peter and Gwen find happiness in the 70s? The Green Goblin is out of their lives, but Norman Osborn isn't. Can Peter and Gwen find happiness as the world of the 1970s dances on around them? Regular cover by Chip Zdarsky. There's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Michael Cho. Star Wars Age of Rebellion special number one. This is going to be a one-shot special featuring favorite and unexpected characters from the original Star Wars trilogy. We have a regular cover by Giuseppe Camincoli, regular price variant by Marco Giacchetto, a regular price puzzle variant by Mike McCone, and a regular price greatest moments variant by Jen Bartel. Thor number 12. This is going to be a War of the Realms tie-in. Bodily love is not something which Loki is terribly familiar. Still, you'd think that the Frost Giants invading New York and Malachis War of the Realms, he'd find some quality time to spend with dear old deadly dad, and he will. But it's not in the way that we think. There's a regular cover by Mike DeMundo. There's also a regular price variant by Olivia Coipel. War of the Realms number two. As the battle for New York City continues, a hero's gonna fall. All the heroes of the Marvel Universe have assembled, yet still might not be enough to stop Malekith's endless war, and the one hero who could turn the tide is stranded where no one can reach him. There's going to have seven different covers for it. There's a regular Arthur Adams cover, regular priced variant by Giuseppe Camancoli, there's a regular priced David Lopez international variant, regular priced Javier Garon Young Guns variant, a 1 in 25 incentive Victor Hugo variant, a 1 in 50 Tedesco variant, and an incentive Arthur Adams black and white variant. Planet of the Nerds number one. This comes from Ahoy Comics. Three high school jocks in the 80s are accidentally frozen by an experimental cryogenics device only to be revived in the computer-driven superhero movie loving world of 2019. An era ruled by nerds. Knights of the Golden Sun number six. This comes from Mad Cave Studios. Ishbal reveals information about the source of the Golden Sun and its importance. With that information, Michael and Gabriel set off to find Raphael and Uriel. Also releasing this week is the second print of Knights of the Golden Sun number one. Unable to get your hands on the first print? Definitely pick up the second print. Brand new cover. I love when publishers do that instead of repurposing the same cover from the first printing. So definitely pick this up if you can. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comic books. They're coming out Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. If you noticed, I didn't have a pick of the week this week. There wasn't one book that I thought was my pick of the week. If I had to choose one, I'm really excited about Daredevil. So that's the book that I would say is my pick of the week. But question of the day, what is your favorite comic book in your collection? Doesn't have to be the most valuable. Just what is your favorite book and why? Put that down in the comments. Also, if there's a book that you're excited about this week that I didn't have in my weekly picks, comment down below because I love to hear what everyone else is reading. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics and collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. I'll see you guys next week.